Guys, we're out here. Take over the kitchen. So we're ordering um, Chinese food. We're preparing. We're preparing our baits for tomorrow's uh, daytime sword fishing. So what we're doing here is we're preparing for simplicity for the most complicated type of fishing that there is in the world, which is daytime sword fishing. And wh why not? While I'm here, have a little beer too. This is what I drink. This, this is the best. Because I'm drinking my vitamins. As you can tell, you got uh, 25... Yeah, never mind. I'm out. So, wrap. Pressure. Ah, boom. Go ahead, nice and easy. Slow. Come on, bring it over. Close it. Bye, ribbon fish. Turn into a big old swordfish for us. That's Michael's right here. Was on the rock. That's what we do. That's how we roll. We're out. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? So, um, last night you guys saw me rigging up the baits. And the theme of, of today is um, prepare for simplicity. How about that? Now, there's nothing simple about this daytime sword fishing that we're doing, like I said and explained to you last night. It's the most complicated type of fishing that there is, I believe, in the world. Um, just to start off with, we're at um, 1,750 feet of water. And we gotta, we attach this 12 pound weight, steel bar, 12 pound weight, and drop this, um, one of those baits that you saw me, uh, well, the ones with the skirts and stuff that I was rigging up yesterday in the kitchen before we ordered Chinese. Yep. Mm -hmm. We dropped that 1,700 feet of water down to the bottom and it gets real complicated so what I'm saying about the simplicity is we were preparing for today since last night get the boat ready get the gear ready get the baits ready so we don't have to do all that here while we're waiting for the big bite but I do have a feeling I, I have this feeling I'm telling you that if I should just go play the lottery and I believe I'm going to be a, a millionaire. I have a feeling today that we're going to... Look, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. I have a feeling today that we're going to get a real big swordfish. Like over 200 pounds. I just feel it. Um, King King Triton uh, uh, got in my dreams last night. He said he's going to take care of us because we have a good attitude. So, anyways... I have a feeling um, we just got out here. It's a little bumpy. Uh, we're gonna be here all day, all day, 12 hours until we get that big boy that uh, King tried to promise me last night in my dreams. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys later. Remember, prepare for simplicity. All right, cool, wow. Wait, bouncing around. So the weight's coming up. It's it! You got video of this? You got video of this. 
Get in the video, Mike. Right here. Look right here, though. You're ready. I think she's almost done. You're ready. You're ready. What's this? What's this line? What the hell's going on here? What's <laughs> up, Mike? What's up? What? Hell yeah! Fuck! I'm thinking, what? 300 pounds. We, we lost the gaff through her, too. Holy smokes. What's up, Mike? You're a badass motherfucker. What's up? What's up? That's what you do? I hand cranked this swordfish all the way. From hand cranked up this baby. Badass. Look at the size of that motherfucker. Look at the size of my hand compared oh, to it's the... pumpkin, too. I don't know. That's awesome. What's up, Mike? <laughs> Damn, Mike, let me see. Let me see what you got over here. What? Baby, Mike, what you got over here? Get you, let me put you in the sun. What's up? Damn. Let's go. Let's go. Huh?
here, Michael, my son. Hello. You guys know what's up? So, um, as you can see, we went out fishing together today, just him and I. And we got a special guest that joined us for the ride back home and dinner tonight. <laughs> dinner tonight. <laughs> She's main course dinner tonight. So, so funny. After three and a half hour fight with the beast, we won the beast. Had a fight with the beast and we won this time. What do you have to say, Mike? Nah, that was one insane fight. I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Let's do it again tomorrow. <laughs> this is addictive as shit. You guys love you. Uh, hopefully you guys are watching my video. You get to see, not, you get a little piece of my, uh, of our swordfish. All right, cool, we're out. What's up? What are you doing there, Mike? You're, you're professional, bro. Let me see what you got. Bring it. Bring her the scale around. Turn. Turn the fish around. You should turn. You should. Okay. Whatever. Anyways. Bam. Badass. Oh, well, this video. Three hundred and change. I just don't see the change. Boom. Good. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Michael here again with me, as usual. Um, a 311-pound swordfish. Again, we cannot explain the fight and and the beauty of a beast like that in the water against us two little skinny dudes here, you know? But like I said, we beat we beat the beast this time. It's it's a good chance. It was a good thing. Cuz it's not every day like that. It's a, it's not every day at all. Uh anyways, so we're enjoying our um our little cookout here at my marina. Uh, I'm going to show you what we got. Excuse me. Uh, so what you got right here? That's that swordfish. Oh, I didn't mention that we went on the way back. We are uh, scouting for lobsters. And then we got a little hogfish right here. You see the little white meat right there in the corner? We got a little hogfish. So we're scouting up for lobsters for Wednesday and Thursday. We get a little video of that too. Anyways, you guys, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. We're out. Peace. <laughs> All right. So look what we're doing here today for a little bit. So we got some uh, swordfish steaks, all frozen and uh, vacuum sealed. And uh, why not? We got a couple of nice lobsters here for uh, for the family. For the family, not all family is a little coolers and the ice packs, you know, because the families don't live here. They live in New York. And got my um, my wife's sister and my wife's dad. That we're going to ship up some fish to them. Some of them, some of them are um, pumpkin swordfish, and the white one is regular swordfish. Well, actually, they all look the same right now. Anyways, that's what we do. Well, that's what we do for family. Ooh, there you go again. All right, we're out. So guess what? They're ready to be shipped right now. Look at that, and the most important thing, the most important thing is it's made in Americas. Let's keep it all here. Not all of it, but let's keep a lot of it. You know what I mean? That's what we're talking about. All right, wow. Big old mangoes. So this is where, this is where we trade 
late bloomer mangoes. This is August and these trees are blooming for my sister for pumpkin swordfish. Pumpkin swordfish traded for amazing, amazing, the best mango you can get in all Florida, maybe all in the United States, and my sister has them. And they come out in August, late bloomers. Swordfish, mangoes. Whoever would have thought about that? This is like back in the old days, trading stuff. That's awesome. I'm out.